Hello everybody, I'm Harold with Nature's Friends. And I'm Jess with Urban Art. I've been commandeered into what today, Harold? We're going to make stuffing. For stuffing! Thanksgiving is coming up, so we're going to make a homemade stuffing. Who doesn't love stuffing? I know. Oh, I love man. It. You can tell right. them I love it. So how do we do it? Well, this is Marcia's grandmother's recipe. <laughs> Aunt Grandma Bessie. Bessie? Bessie. Awesome. She's a really sweet lady. So what we're going to start out doing is we're going to toast two loaves of bread. What? Uh, do I set the oven to? We're gonna broil it. Bro broil, okay. We're gonna broil. Broil. And then once we get this broiling. So you lay them flat like that, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Cool. Okay, you load up that pan. Hold on. We'll put this in. And then Jess is gonna get on bread toast. I'm on detail. bread duty. And I'm going to explain what we mix with it. You use one stick of butter. We got two celery stalks. And this makes right much. One large onion. And then we're going to saute this. And the sage goes in after we make the mixture up. So we're going to saute this while Jess is toasting bread. We're gonna come the bread up, bread up in this pan, and then we'll show you how we mix everything up. We're toasting, yeah. and you always gotta check when it toasts. You gotta to flip it over right quick. Speedy Gonzalez, hot, hot, hot. You gotta go under the pot holder. And you slide it back in there, and you keep an eye on it. Okay, this bread's ready. Another pan going in. So we're doing two loaves of bread. And then Jess is going to sit here and crumble this up and get prepared. And once she gets it crumbled up, we're going to cover it with this dishcloth or some kind of cloth. So hey, you want to take over over yeah, here? Yeah, I, I get that. Okay. Hey, bread crumbler. Make sure you got clean hands, and it is a little hot there. Yeah, you might want to let it cool off a little bit because you'll probably get better better crumbs, but you know. I'm new at this. Do you have a better technique? Because mine doesn't bigger. seem Yeah, bigger pieces. Bigger pieces. bigger pieces. Bigger pieces. Well, how yeah, many you want it? That's perfect, just like this. Very tedious yeah, this job. Ain't, this ain't stovetop. This is this is real, real stuff. I love stovetop. Nothing wrong with stovetop. But wow. you know, this is homemade. Okay, it's you've better. never tasted this before. I know this. So, so I'm doing eat, this you, with you. But once you eat it, then you make the decisions. I will, and I will let the whole world know. That's and why I'm I guessing. I will guarantee you that. Yes, stovetop's still great, though, and it's no, it's not. okay. So. We've got all the bread done, correct? Yep, bread duty is now over. Now we are adding... Our sautéed celery. Your sautéed celery and onions, and onions and butter. Okay. If you don't, if you make it and think it needs more, just next time, just put some more onion and celery. Cool. All right, now what? We've got the oven preheat to 350 degrees. Because we're going to bake all this deliciousness, we're gonna right? We're going to bake all this deliciousness in. And that is? Chicken broth. Three cups. We normally use the broth out of the bird when we cook it. Like the drippings? The drippings. Is that what they call it down south? The drippings. drippings. The drippings. All right. And then you, you use some of the drippings for your gravy and some of your drippings for your dressing. <laughs> this sounds painful. I shouldn't have bought only, new pants. Only, only if you drip it on you. <laughs> now we've got a tape, teaspoon and a half of sage, powdered sage. And then if you want more sage, all you do is add it. Now Jess is going to have the grand job of mixing it all up. Oh, uh, how hot? Yeah. It's kind of hot. Is it? A little bit, but that's okay. Just for those at home, just hot. Just know that it's hot. <laughs> Can, whew, yeah, that's kind of really hot. Let me get you a spoon. Yeah, that would be. Here. <laughs> Use a spatula then. And we got the oven preheating to 
to 350 degrees and we're going to bake it until it's warm say 15 20 minutes maybe or and you can actually put this in balls and cook it Ooh. And that's the way we used to always do it and this is always one of the most favorite things you have to butter your bacon dish so instead of using butter we're going to use spray pan more butter. More butter. You know it's Thanksgiving when there's a lot of butter and good stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, is that good? You want me to nah, keep doing this? Go yeah, somewhere. here. Yeah. yeah. The spoon really uh, helps. You know that? Yeah, you gotta use your hands. And my I, hands. I let it cool off for you. And my hands are good and clean. Yes, it is cooler. Jess. Uh, kind of tends to like bread. Who doesn't like bread? I know. I so think everybody loves bread. Let me get you to take a taste and just see what you think it tastes like. Does it need more sage? What do you think? I'll let you take a bite. It's good. <laughs> it is really good. The salt kick comes kind of in at the end, which is nice. Okay, now we're going to put it in our pan. And you can see this is right much stuffing here. But sometimes what Marcia used to do is make it in balls like this. Num nums. And cook it on a cookie sheet. Whoa. I know. Man. <laughs> Is that why everyone's New Year's resolution is to start working out? Because yeah, winter year. season, everybody's just like, yes, Cookies, food, candies, food, yes, pies, desserts, mm -hmm. stuffing, seconds, thirds. If you, like, third, if you like pecan pie, you can go on our channel and see how. Yeah, maybe mm -hmm. mush it down a little better. Mm -hmm. Give it a nice shape. All right. All right, now how long are we baking this for? I'm sorry, We're I forgot. We're baking for about 20 minutes. Until it gets good and warm. And we're going to warm up some brown gravy to on it. And then you'll get to really hear the sound effects from this young lady. We'll be right back. Okay, it's been baking for how long? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. <laughs> Thank you, Marsha. You're welcome. Someone's keeping track of time. We've just been having so much fun. Man, this is the fun part. That looks delicious. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're going to scoop out just a little bit here. Now, if you want it juicier, you put more broth or however how you want to do it. Can I put some of this awesome sauce we're on top of it? Put some brown gravy on it. Awesome sauce. And you're supposed to use white gravy or turkey gravy, but Marcia made some brown gravy today to go with Keaton's sweet uh, mashed potatoes. That? Thanks. It's a clean one too. Is it? It's my lucky day. It might be hot. Do you like that? <clears throat> wow. Yeah, this this is some uh, Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Where's nothing. an extra fork? <laughs> mm hmm So good. You oh wait, we need a third sound effect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh yeah. So it's good. Granny would be proud. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Grandma Bessie, Bessie. right? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thank you. It was delicious. So if you guys want to make a nice, easy dressing for Thanksgiving, this is the one to do stuffing, not dressing. Either or. Uh, it could be, you know, if you wanted to sound all classy, it could be a dressing. <laughs> <laughs> it could be a dressing. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, guys. Happy Thanksgiving, and I hope y'all enjoy it. Thank you for watching. I'm Harold with Nature's Friends. If you have any questions, email us at naturesfriends at embarkmail.com. I can like you on Facebook, too, can't yes, I? Yes, you sure can. Cool. Yes. And I'm Jess with Urban Art. Uh, good at artwork. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Thank y'all. Thank you. Esteban. Jeez. Y'all are rolling. <laughs> are we? Are we? Rusticon. Hey Harold, what shape is this? It's a Rusticon. <laughs> cool. It's Rastafarian. <laughs>